It is beautiful out. What a wonderful day. Also talking about my bike, I'm also going to be telling you a little bit about where I am. Yes, I'm from Flecky area. I'm not going to tell you where. No motor vlogger ever shares his personal information with people on YouTube. But right now, I decided to go for a little spin to a neighboring area called the Gower. It's in Swansea County, and it's absolutely gorgeous. Nice, mate. Nice. My favorite place in the Gower has got to be San Madoc. It's the place which has uh, a massive lighthouse and a massive abandoned beach. Just think of it this way. Anybody that's ever been to a place like uh, Pembroke Country Park knows it's lovely up there. It's massive. Per it's a big forest up there. But it's full of people. It's full of annoying people and uh, people there to tell you no, you can't have a barbecue here. No, you can't put a campfire here. No, you can't just walk around and just have fun. No, you're supposed to stay on the track, stay in line, and be boring. White Fort Point Beach is nothing like that. There is no one there, within the exception of uh, an occasional dude hang around with fishing gear on a quad bike that they've rented from the local um, campsite, apparently. That's where they told me it's from. But yeah, you walk around this place, it's literally the size of Tenbury Country Park, except there's no one ever there. It's beautiful and secluded, and uh, it's got a massive lighthouse. I really want to climb that thing. Apparently it used to have a rope ladder to it, but uh, it was burnt out. The lighthouse was literally set on fire and a lot of its innards have gotten either rotten away or fire damaged. The, you, you, it's pretty much a skeleton. I've got loads of pictures of the lighthouse from afar and from a close. I'll probably be uh, <laughs> putting pictures of it within this video, like here, there, maybe full screen, I don't know yet. And uh, from afar you can see the lighthouse. I don't know if you can see the lighthouse because I don't even know if this camera is pointing in the right direction. I really hope this camera is still recording. You see, unlike some people, especially in cars, I don't like speeding because you never know when there's police. And I don't like them. I'm not really a risk taker. That's why when I pass my full bike test, I'm probably going to go sticking with a 600cc motorbike. Wait a minute. No, nope, that's wrong. I don't want a 600 cc. I don't think I'm ready for that yet. It's bad enough that I have to pass my bike test on that thing. But yeah, anyway. 400 cc, cozy cruiser, that'll do. It will do just fine. As long as it's sufficient, gets me from A to B, I can take a passenger and more luggage than a backpack can carry, which means it has to have, have like, you know, um, top box, side cases, that sort of thing. As long as it has that, and it's fast enough for the motorway, I'll be perfectly happy riding it. It doesn't need to be a mental machine. As I said, I don't race, I don't do track days. What's the point having a fast bike? It just has to be fast enough. And what is fast enough? 70 mile an hour, uphill, no struggle. That's it. That's all you really need. Because just think about it this way, the bigger the engine that you get in the bike, sure, you get a lot faster. But with an engine size that big, it's going to cost you a bomb to run. You might as well just get a car. That's the way my opinion works anyway. Sure, it's still going to be more efficient than a car. Yep, we are on the way to Flanridion. Flanridion. <laughs> On ready on. Gotta take it easy around here. I've seen lorries go around here. Oh, what a wonderful view! 
spoiled by BMW. Ah, it's not a bad car. It's better than that Clio, that's for sure. It is beautiful out. What a wonderful day. Baby, baby on the road. They were probably thinking, what the fuck's with all this gaffer tape on your face, mate? I don't know, I'm just making a motor vlog. Speaking of making a motor vlogs, let's see if my camera is still recording. We got a red light! That's a good thing. Red light means green light, and green light means go! <laughs> now, if you're ever in the area, one thing you must remember about this place is you gotta watch out for the tide. And I'm gonna tell you why in a minute. Well, in a few moments, actually. Past this cattle grade, there's a couple of flood plains. I think I got stuck right here. You see this hill by here? I was trying to make it around the uh, flood. Oh no, it wasn't here. It wasn't here, I'm lying. It was further up ahead. And, uh, oh, to the left we have an abandoned minefield on which you shouldn't drive for one simple reason. It's got artillery shells in it somewhere in random places because it used to be a military training ground. Oh look, husky. I love huskies. Oh, and this is where I got stuck. I tried to make it across. Anyway, the way it worked is I went up this way first, just for a spin, after getting stuck behind horses a couple of times. And those things are bloody scary. There you go. I go up there, further up ahead, the whole road is soaked. I thought, hmm, it's strange. It has been dry for, da for days. There is no way this isn't just a normal flood, so... I tried going around it, la 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 la, and uh, <laughs> long story short is I couldn't. I couldn't go, go get around it off-road. Every piece of water was, there was just over knee deep. So I figured to myself, fuck it. Let's turn around, let's go around, and come back the way we came. Well, about halfway down, I noticed something that I wasn't expecting at all. The road was soaked. I mean, not just soaked, I'm talking it was uh, up to your knees. Again, I was thinking, shit. How the flip did that happen? Well, I'll tell you how that happened. It wasn't just a normal flood. You see, we're next to the seaside. What happens on the seaside? You get a tide. And, uh, yeah. Apparently, this road, this particular road right here, for anybody that drives, watch out for the tide, because when it's in, you might get stuck in the middle of it. You can't go that way, you can't go that way, you're just stuck. Simple story. Uh, I wish I had the footage of that day, of me heroically driving two miles an hour through a massive flood. Watch out for horse. Watching out for horses, dodging them. Yeah, that's right. I'm talking about you, my friend. Bloody horses! So much room in this field, and you gotta hang around by the fucking road, just like sheep. Sweet. I think we made it. I think we made it. Da, 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 da. See, you can do that in a car. You'd end up in a ditch. 
Slow down, you fuck. You got better brakes than I do. What the fuck? So many vans at once. What the fuck's going on? What the fuck's going on, what the fuck's going on man? You scared the death out of me. Yeah, speaking of gaming vlogs and motor vlogs and comparison of all of them, let's play videos and shit like that. I gotta say, I'm definitely having more fun doing motor vlogs. I'm hoping to get a real action camera soon, so I can do this properly. I'm still probably going to be using my headphones as the uh, in-helmet microphone. Why? Because it works. It's simple, it's not bulging. I've already got a decent microphone at home, the one that I use for proper video game vlogs. But, uh, yep, yeah, I can't imagine sticking something that's the size of a dildo into my helmet. And uh, I'm not paying for any other microphone. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah. See this? See that? Yep. This was completely covered in water. Every piece of land here was drenched. Watch out, guys. That's how you end up getting run over. Yes, I know. Rush. Why are you driving like a pussy? I'll tell you why. That's why. This road is not safe for driving fast. It's just not designed for it. And I'm a safe driver. That's why, unlike my friend, who decided to drive a car instead of a bike. Well, he didn't even think about getting a bike, but yeah, anyway. This is my first vehicle that I'm allowed to drive on public roads. I've got a car license, but I don't want to use it because cars are just a pain in the ass. Everybody charges you for every little thing. It's like, yeah, not interested. But yeah, the difference between me and my friend. He has a car. I have a bike. People say bikes are dangerous. Well, guess what? It's not what you drive, it's how you drive it. I've had this bike for two years, haven't had a crash once. Haven't had any crashes whatsoever. I've got no claims discount twice in a row and it's my first two years of driving. My friend on the other hand, his first vehicle was a car. He was driving it around like a loony and uh, in his first three months, smack. He just crashed into an oncoming uh, pickup truck and uh, the car was absolutely shattered, destroyed. And believe me, he cannot deny that the crash happened to me because I was in the passenger seat. So, that's the moral of the story. Bikes are not dangerous. But any vehicle is dangerous in the hands of those who don't know how to drive it. Nice. Yeah, you could literally go to the moon in a space rocket traveling at warp speed and come back perfectly safe if you know how to do it right. And again, you can always get yourself killed simply by walking somewhere and not looking, you're drunk, you trip up, and you go face plant and break your neck. It can happen, but the only deaths you usually hear about are those that uh, happen on the most uh, stereotypical vehicles. Yeah, the guy was driving a bike, Obviously, you know, bikes, not safe, blah, 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 blah. But yeah, I disagree. Bikes are the best form of transportation for a single person. If you have kids, sure, get a car. If you're single and you always drive alone, you have no excuse for having a car unless you are disabled. And this is going to be the end of my uh, take two of my very first attempt of making a motor vlog. And the engine goes off. Oh, before I go, I'm going to show you my bike. Why the hell not? 
there she is, Suzuki Van Van, fully off-road capable, just not very good at going uphill. See what I mean by the small engine size? And there she is, I'm not going to show you the back of it because uh, I don't know how to edit out number plates. Anyway, this is Rush Vlog, Motor Vlog, whatever. I'll catch you next time. <laughs>